In this video, we'll discuss the activation system that is part of your Electric Quill 8. After installing EQ8, your license is activated over the internet. Activation is a signal from your computer to EQ's activation server, letting us know that your license is valid. EQ8 cannot be used if the license is not activated on that computer. How many computers can be active at a time? EQ8 can be installed on as many computers as you want, but only two computers can be active at a time. If you have EQ8 on multiple computers, each can easily be deactivated and reactivated as needed. If you try to activate EQ8 on a third computer, and you already have two other computers activated, you'll get a 5013 message, reminding you that you need to deactivate one of your other computers first. Continue watching to get a better understanding. So what is deactivation? Deactivation is a quick signal to EQ's activation server that turns off the license on the selected computer. EQ8 is still installed, but the license is no longer active, and EQ8 cannot be used until it has been reactivated on that computer. It's kind of like a wall outlet. If you have three lamps, which are your computers, and only one outlet, which is your license, and the outlet has two plugs, or activations, you need to unplug one lamp before plugging in the third lamp. You get to choose which lamp you want to use. Let's take a more literal look. Let's pretend you have EQ8 installed on three computers. Your Windows desktop that's in your home office and hooked up to your printer, your Windows laptop, and your company MacBook. Currently, EQ8 is active on your Windows desktop and your MacBook. Since EQ8 is currently active on two computers, you must first deactivate EQ8 on one of those computers to free up an activation for your Windows laptop. You do not need to uninstall EQ8, you're simply deactivating the license. Since activation and deactivation both send a signal to EQ's activation server over the internet, you must be sure you're connected to the internet first. Let's go ahead and deactivate the MacBook. Open EQ8 on the MacBook. And up at the top menu, click Help. Then choose Deactivate EQ8 on this computer. Click yes to the prompt, then the deactivation is complete. Now on your Windows laptop, simply double click on the EQ8 icon and you'll be prompted to activate EQ8 on this computer. Activation requires your license ID, password, and internet connection. You can always find your license ID and password in your account at electricquilt.com, but we suggest you write them down and keep them handy. Type your license ID and password and click Activate. If successful, you'll be able to start using EQ8 on this computer. If you receive an error during activation or deactivation, you're either not connected to the internet, you have a firewall or antivirus blocking the signal to your activation server, or you have a typo in your ID or password. At the end of this video is a list of error codes and how to resolve them. Or Check our support site for help. When should I deactivate? You should deactivate EQ8 on a computer if you have reached your two activation limit and want to use EQ8 on a third computer, if you get a new computer and no longer plan to use EQ8 on the older computer, if you are giving away or selling your computer, or if you plan to change your computer by reformatting or upgrading to a new operating system. How do I deactivate if I no longer have access to that computer? There are two ways you can deactivate EQ8 without having to open the program. The easiest way would be to go to the Electric Quilt support site. Go to electricquilt.com, then click on EQ support at the top. 
This is where we have all kinds of articles, lessons, and videos about our products. Under Frequently Asked Questions, click on Deactivating EQ8. Here you'll find instructions on deactivating, but at the bottom you'll see a form. This online utility allows you to reset both of your activations on this license without having to open EQ8. Fill out the license ID, password, and the registered user's last name and click deactivate my license. It's as easy as that. The other way to reset your activations would be to contact the Electric Quilt Company. You can fill out this form here on our website, email tech support at electricquilt.com, or call 419-352-1134. We can remotely reset your activations during business hours. Be sure to provide your license ID when you contact us though. It makes it a lot easier. Here are a couple of the activation error messages that could occur. Error 5013. This error means you've reached your two activation limit. Use any of the deactivation methods to reset one or both activations on the license. Error 100 or error 5008. Either of these mean that you have a typo in your license ID or your password when trying to activate. Please try again, but be careful when you're typing in your ID and password. Be sure there are no spaces before or after either of the entries. If you receive any other errors, go to our support site and enter the error code number in the search bar for instructions, or contact the Electric Quilt support team.